Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, my name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortinet instructor over in Tempe, Arizona for Dynamic Worldwide, and I've been recording a boatload of these things, uh, these videos the, over the weekend just because I can uh, get them out of the way. So in this video, we need to take care of our uh, of our data center FortiGate, which is going to essentially be a what's the word I'm looking for a glorified DMZ right it's gonna be resources that the public publicly facing are gonna are going to uh, to create or to access see it's, it's getting late I'm getting a little loopy sorry guys anyways but we have a web server here that has a 10.10.40.10 number alright and this is actually just a Ubuntu build in GNS3 that I added Apache to you can just go ahead and uh, Ooh, you know what? I have that turned off. I better turn it on. There we go. So um, I'll go ahead and I'll test that out here pretty soon. But it's just it's just running Apache, all right? But that is a private IP address, and we're protecting it behind our data center FortiGates, all right? So we're going to need the firewall rule, but we're also going to need uh, essentially um, a VIP, a virtual IP address, to do that to do that destination adding. So. That is going to be our goal for this video, is to create the policy package and also all the other settings we need to essentially get our data center for to get provisioned. So let's go ahead and do it. So here's our Windows machine, and we are already logged into the Forta Manager. So I'm going to go to the Forti, the Forta, the Forti Manager, the Device Manager. And as you guys can see, we have never had a policy package here. All right, so um, we need to go create one. All right, so we're going to go to our policy and objects. And looks like we we're messing with the branch office earlier. But let's go ahead and do a new package. All right, and I do not want that in baseline. I don't know why it never lets me pick the, the top one after I get done with it. So I'm just going to put that somewhere here. I'll just say initial policies. All right, not a big deal. And I'll just say data center. And I'll probably move that to its own folder one of these days. So not a big deal. All right. So now that we have a policy package called data center, all right, there is our IP4 policy. OK. So but before we do anything, uh, we need to figure out our dynamic mapping just like before. So I'm going to come over here to GNS3. I'm going to kind of hover over my data center FortiGates, and I looks like port 4 is where we're connected to. All right. So, all right, no big deal. So let's go ahead and do that. And it looks like WAN is our port 1. So let's go over to our objects configuration, zone and interfaces, interfaces. And I don't have a DMZ here. I did not dynamically map anything to DMZ, so I'm going to create a new dynamic interface. I'm going to call this DMZ, okay, per device mapping, and it's going to be our data center to port 4. See how great that works? And we hit OK. Boom, baby. Sorry, I get so excited about that. All right. So there you go. Also, though, our WAN interface, you see how we don't have our data center one in here? So we are going to add that one. All right. Data center to our port one. And now we have those mapped out. All right. Not too bad. OK. So that should be good there. Now we need the VIP object though. So we're going to go to object configuration and we're going to go to our firewall objects, our virtual IP addresses. And we're going to create a new virtual IP address. And we're going to call this web server. All right. And our interface is going to be DMZ. It's going to be a static NAT. All right, and if we take a look here, we're using 10.200.4, 
as our make believe public IP address. Okay, so uh, it's probably not going to be the same IP address of our actual port gateway, and I mean it could be, but um, I'm going to pick something that, to make believe here. All right, so 200 poor dot 10. Okay, and it's going to map to 10.10.40.10. .10 .10 All right, not too bad. Okay, some optional filters. Should we do that? Nah, we won't do that for right now. We'll do that later. Okay, and then we're going to hit all right. And there it is. And now we can start using it. So uh, we're going to go to our policy package now. And let's go ahead and build it. So we'll say web server. And we'll say incoming interface. Now, what is going on here? Where is my stuff? Ah, right, right. So I did this on purpose. No, I didn't. I just forgot about it. <laughs> You're not going to see anything here because we have not picked an installation target. So we have to go to installation target first. And we're going to pick our data centers. Okay. And we made a group for that earlier, if you guys remember. So see how we now have our interfaces, right? So we'll say uh, going from the WAN as our incoming, our outgoing as our DMZ. We'll call this web server. Web server. <laughs> Okay. Now, source address, the internet's a big place, so we'll just leave that. But as our destination address, we are going to pick our virtual IP address. Boom. There it is. Oops. Come on, you can do it. Bloop. There it is. And for services, we're not going to want everything going to our DMZ. All right. I guess I got to put HTTP. There we go. Just HTTP and HTTPS. There we go. Action accept. All right. All right. Looks good to me. All right, let's see here. Web server interfaces bound to the WAN. Ah, oh, you know why? I forgot when I was creating the VIP, you have to point it to the one that it is listening to, not popping out of. So what am I talking about there? Uh, let's go to our VIP object here. See, I, I swear I do this on purpose, guys, just for you guys. All right, I'm just kidding. I just kind of suck. So. Um, here we go, take that filter out. All right. Uh, local WAN. So it's not even letting me see it because of the, the bind right there. So no big deal. I'll just take that out. Take that out. All right, here we go. So our destination address. Wow, look at that. Now, this is the problem with it being a web GUI, right? Sometimes this happens, so I'm just going to have to manually go back. No big deal. We'll just chalk that up as review. So once again, guys, that should have been bound to WAN. And, and in all honesty, I guess we could do any. That would give us the freedom to pick and choose. So maybe I'll just leave it on any. So that's mainly to keep us from screwing up. So... All right, now I have to go back and do it again, which is fine. Here we go. All right. Data center, we'll say create new. And we'll call this web server. Our incoming is going to be our WAN. It's going to pop out of the DMZ. Okay. I said the DMZ. Here we go. Uh, Internet's a big place. We'll leave that that. And then here we go. 
make sure that's correct. All right, perfect. Boom. And services, once again, we just don't want everything there. There we go. To an accept. And now, as you can see, it, it took it. So uh, let's go ahead and push it down and try it out. So all right. So we'll say install. All right. Here we go. And this is just the preview. All right, there's the install target. OK, so there we go. And we'll just go ahead and let that sit there. So I'm going to hit pause because it takes a couple of moments here. So all right, noise. So we got an OK. The real question is, did it work? I don't know. We're just going to have to try it out. So let's go to our make-believe internet connection here. All right. Close those out. All right. 10.200.4.10. All right, there you go. So it worked. So there you guys go. Um, we just set up our data center DMZ. So yeah. Anyways, so in this uh, video, like I said, we never installed a policy package here on the data center side of things. All right, so we went ahead and accomplished that and we did a virtual IP address to do our destination NAT inside and uh, we had it working. So, um, yay. All it quits, we're gonna set up the DMZ on the local FortiGate side and then after that, I think I'm done for a while. So hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you guys later.